up trailer this company I say I said this company's got you covered yes Dina standing by learning more about four wheel campers okay so if you don't know what a camper is a camper goes on the back of a truck bed okay because there's so many versions there's fifth wheels RVs towables there's a lot of different versions so the camper is what sits in a truck bed and then you see them driving on the freeway. Okay, uh -huh. so now that you know that, we do want to go out this morning to a woodland business. They actually manufacture pop-up campers. They also sell and distribute them, and so it's really special that we have this in our area. So we have Robert Vogel, who is the CEO here of Four Wheel Pop-Up Campers in Woodland. So good morning to you. First of all, tell me about the space you're in because it is so cool. This is where the sausage is made. Thanks, Nina, and good morning to you. Uh, appreciate you guys coming out. Yeah, this is our manufacturing facility. So we ship product uh, around the country and internationally, and every camper is made right here uh, on our factory floor. Okay, so talk about how difficult it is to make a camper. There are a lot of people involved, a lot of different pieces involved. These take time. <laughs> Yes, they do, and there are there are both a lot of a lot of people and a lot of parts involved. Yes, uh, we have something in the nature of two million different variations on a build wow. because they're all custom ordered. So you order off a menu, and and by the time you get various different combinations of options and models together, it, you get about two million different varieties. Okay. So uh, it is very complicated. Yeah, and, it, and made even more complicated by COVID. Yeah, it's. I'm sure. So talk about that. Getting through the pandemic, so many people wanted to, you know, start traveling, and they couldn't do it so, so far. So they started getting the RVs and, and the campers. So how was business for you? Right. Yeah, the, the, the pandemic was very, very good to us. We feel very fortunate that we are in uh, one of the segments that, that actually prospered from the pandemic. Uh, our sales uh, just absolutely blew up okay. last year and are continuing this year. Uh, our normal lead time is about 13 to 15 weeks to get a camper, and okay. we are now at uh, about 15 months to get a camper. Oh my so gosh. That's how much demand is, has increased. Wow. Okay, we only have a little yeah, bit of time it's, it's left. Crazy. So I know it's going to take a while, but who is in the market for campers these days? What kind of a family or what kind of adventurer would, would, would work with the camper setup? Yeah, great question. And that market is really expanding. Uh, people are through the pandemic. They're finding uh, the outdoors to be a great place to go. Mm -hmm. So uh, our demographic used to be folks that were uh, 50 or older, and we're now uh, selling campers across the spectrum to folks that are, you know, 25 to 75. Yeah, I mean, you can see why they are so cool, and you cram a lot into that small space. All right, Robert, we are gonna. Stick around, there is so much more to see. Again, this is just the manufacturing side. So in the 10 o'clock hour, we're gonna show you the finished products. Robert, thank you so much. I can't wait to show you what these look like on the inside. The shells themselves are impressive, but then when you see how much they can put in those things, you're all gonna want one. Yeah, <laughs> so stick around. Back over to you guys. Great. Go shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're gonna be wild to get one. You can back order. Courtney, there's glamping in campers. See, do you see her? Do you see? Point. Yeah. She's working it. She's yeah. working it. <laughs> well, earlier we chose the news, but we can't let the other stories go to waste. Nice. John is serving up the leftovers coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. And sometimes all an outfit needs, darling, is the perfect shape.